and Paul, uh, Doc had mentioned that he felt like after that first quarter when they scored 44, the defense was was pretty good that you guys put out there, but it was the offense. I guess, what do you feel like uh, the offensive trouble the last three quarters? Was that more kind of stuff they were throwing at you guys or, or just miscommunication, mis-execution by you guys? Um, I think a little bit of everything. Uh, definitely miscommunication on our part. Um, and I think um, – you know, giving credit for the defense they were throwing at us. I mean, um, I think I know and, and we're aware of how to attack it now, um, just based off of us talking. But, um, you know, they, they, they did a good job of, of just swarming us. And um, we got to be better. Home. Paul, um, from game one to game two, did they surprise you with anything they did defensively as far as maybe the timing of the double teams or – the way the double teams came, because I think they held you and Kawhi to combine six baskets inside the paint. Um, it's, it's playoffs, you know, it's, it's, it's playoffs. It's game of adjustments um, at this point. They made the adjustments from game one. Um, it's no surprise. Um, we just, you know, we, we, we weren't aware that they were going to do that tonight. Um, but it comes no surprise that they're going to make the adjustment. Um, you know, we, we just got to be better going into game three. Tell Mary, you can go ahead. Hey, Paul, uh, first of all, it looked like you hyperextended your knee at some point. Were you okay after that play? I know you played through it. Yeah, yeah, I did, but uh, I was able to play through it. Okay. I, was, I was fine once I got moving again. Yeah. And then Doc said that, you know, uh, they really punched you guys in the mouth in that first quarter. I'm just wondering, obviously you had to expect that they would come out like that, but why was it so hard to counter their, their big run to start? Uh, I don't think it was hard. I think we missed we missed some shots. Um, you know, we just couldn't find a basket in the first quarter. Um, that was, you know, really the game. Uh, you know, us not playing defense and allowing him uh, rhythm and shots in the first quarter and us not making shots uh, was a big swing in that first quarter, I think. Miriam, you can go ahead. Hi, Paul. Um, obviously, the last three quarters were, were better than the first there. Um, you guys kind of got close to seven here and there. And did, did it feel like you guys might get over the hump there? Were there moments where, where it seemed like it could be in your grasp? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we never gave up the fight. We never quit it on each other. Um, like I said, we just got to be better. Um, figuring out, you know, where that double is coming, when that double is coming and sharing the ball. Um, I think that's just where we got to be better. Um, myself, personally, I got to just be a better playmaker in those situations. We'll get time for a couple more and then get you out of here. Cam, you can go ahead. Hey, Paul. Um, seemed like you guys had a lack of energy or they had more energy coming out to start the game with. Um, but that sense of urgency, how do you change that uh, going into game three? Um, we just got to come ready. That's it. Uh, it's, it's no blueprint to it. You just got to come ready. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's on us. Uh, but we be, we'll, we will be better for uh, game three. Um, there's no pep talks for it. It's the playoffs. So uh, we got we got to be ready. We got to come out a lot stronger. And um, we'll be up for the fight and the challenge game three. And we have time for one more. We'll go to Thomas. Uh, hey, Paul. Uh, at, you know, near the end of the game, I noticed you guarding Jamal Murray a little bit more. Um, do you sense that that's going to kind of have to be one of those challenges that you're going to have to take on, um, kind of guarding him late in games? Uh, I mean, we, we got multiple guys that can do the job. Um, you know, for us, it's just whoever's closer, whoever's around. Um, everybody's comfortable matching up with whoever. Um, what's so great about this team is the versatility with our defenders. Um, so, you know, everybody's going to have different matchups. Um, I was just on them tonight uh, towards the end. Um, but you know, everybody's going to have that matchup. Thanks, Paul. That's all we have time for. Have a good night. Appreciate it. Uh, you guys won basically three, the final three quarters, but they really hit you guys in the mouth in that first quarter. Why was it so hard to counter that? Well, we did kind of counter it, but I, I honestly, I thought they just played more aggressive. Uh, they got it to us the entire game. Uh, I thought offensively we just refused to move the ball and make simple plays. As, as beautiful as we moved the ball 
in game one. We are the exact opposite in game two. So the first quarter was defense. The next three quarters was bad offense. Next quarter, Dan. Doc, there was a uh, Jokic from three uh, made four. You guys were a little slow to contest yeah. uh, on, on the first one. Uh, on I mean, the first three. Uh, yeah. Um, how, how critical was that? I, I think it seemed like the rim just kept looking bigger and bigger to them, especially early. Well, it should have. When uh, Jokic had like 30 seconds to shoot those first three threes. So, I mean, he's, he's a good player to begin with. When we gift him nine points, uh, he's just going to get more confident. I thought, you know, Murray was dominant, uh, and I thought Jokic was just as dominant in the first quarter. Holm, you can go ahead. Doc, what was the biggest adjustment Denver did to kind of keep Kawhi from getting to his spots and just basically showing him resistance every time he was inside? I thought they just switched a lot. Um, and, you know, that's it. They stayed in front of the ball. Uh, I thought our spacing could have been better. Um, and we didn't have many downhill attacks, which I thought hurt us as well. Cameron? Hey, Coach. They, the telecast showed you talking about the ball popping at halftime. Is that a symbolism for teamwork or being crisp with the plays that were called? Uh, teamwork, uh, for sure. And you know what happens, though? You're, you're, each guy comes in and thinks he's going to win the game for you. And what happens is it becomes an individual game. And, you know, we had 17 turnovers and 20 assists. Um, the 17 turnovers are a reflection of forcing uh, too many plays instead of just letting the offense happen. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Thomas. Uh, Coach, I just wanted to get your thoughts on um, kind of a night tonight, kind of when the bench didn't really get a chance to get going as much as they do. Um, how, did, how much does that affect the starters? You kind of saw the struggles as well as kind of with Paul and Kawhi shooting. But, yeah, well, I thought the starters put themselves in trouble first. You know, uh, the starters are the ones that got us down. If you look at the plus and minus, our starters are minus 16, 19, 18. So the bench came in uh, in a tough game when they walked in. Sometimes the starters have to set the table, and, and that didn't happen tonight. Uh, next we'll go to Andrew Greif. Hey, Doc. Uh, Jermichael had a, a you know, pretty impactful 26 minutes tonight. Yeah. Uh, there were some times when you put him with a, kind of the starting four, and they, they limited really what they could do defensively. Was that just a reaction to putting pressure on Jokic, or what was the usage there? Yeah, we just put him at the five, actually. I thought he was very good at the five. You know, uh, I thought he was really the only one that showed Jokic any physicality. Um, uh, everybody else, Jokic got whatever he wanted. I thought Jermichael got into him and, and played him physical. And then on the other end, he stretches the floor for us, which is good as well. And we'll go back to Dan. Doc, back to, to – in terms of defending Jokic, is that going to be something, obviously, um, it's not a one-person job. Is that going to be something that you guys are going to have to do just a bunch of different ways? Yeah, he's a great player. I mean, great players are great because they're very difficult to defend. And so uh, he's definitely too smart to give one look. Uh, that's for sure. And that's all the questions we have for you right now, Doc. I love you guys. Sorry, right. one more. Sorry, one more from Miriam uh, popped up. Uh, and you, then you can go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Denver's talked a whole lot about sort of needing to be physical against you guys. Um, and obviously, they, they came out with some more physicality, to, physicality today. Is that something you guys can prepare for or, or adjust to once you see it? Yeah, we just need to play hard ourselves. I, I thought they just – listen, I thought they deserved to win in so many ways. Um, they played with so much more force than us. Uh, they moved the ball. They trusted their offense. Uh, and we didn't do any of those things. And so, I mean, it's amazing. We had a chance in the fourth, cut it to seven. Uh, I thought that was a huge missed call uh, on Jermichael's uh, layup. I thought uh, Jokic should have picked up his fifth foul, uh, wasn't called. Uh, but other than that, uh, I thought it was all Denver. Thanks, Doc.